What is up everyone and welcome to a new Mixed Reality tutorial. So in my previous video, I did a four part tutorial series where I show you how to build a Mixed Reality application for the Quest 3 with Path Through, Scene Collision, Depths and even AR Shadow. With even at the end a Patreon exclusive tutorial where we made together this awesome XR archery game. Link in the description by the way. But to do all of this, we use Meta own developer kit, the Meta Integration. So a good question is, if I want to make a mixed reality application, am I obligated to use their SDK? And the answer is no, because in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use OpenXR with the Unity XR Interaction Toolkit to do mixed reality on the Quest 3 as well. But first, why would you use the XR Interaction Toolkit over the Meta Integration? So Unity XR Interaction Toolkit is Unity's own toolkit to make XR game. It has some great interaction like Grab, Ray and more, which I've covered on this tutorial series on how to make a VR game on this YouTube channel. But more than be able to use all of this in Mixed Reality, the XR Interaction Toolkit is cross-platform. That means that with what I'm going to show you on this video, you can easily port your game to other Mixed Reality headsets like Pico 4, HoloLens or possibly the Apple Vision in the future, which is not the case with the meta integration that only works on meta headsets. Now keep in mind that using the Unity XR toolkit restricts some specific features that we can use. For example, the Depth API and using the path through in the Unity Editor is not yet working, but maybe it will be the case in the future. So anyway, now that you know more about the use case of this setup, without further ado, let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so let's get started on our XR tutorial. So as you can see right now, I've already done a VR setup on this project. And the goal here that I'm going to do in the next minute is to turn here this VR project to be an XR project that works with path through and that we will be able to use with our Quest 3. Now, basically, as you can see, what I did was create a very simple XR origin with end presence on the left and right hand. I also have this cube in front of me and this cube has an XR grab interactable, which means that I will be able to grab it. Oh, and by the way, because there is no ground over there, I don't want the cube to fall to oblivion, so I set here the rigid body to his kinematic to stop all of the force that are applied on this cube. By the way, if you want to know how to make this yourself, this is actually the result of the two first episodes of my tutorial series on how to make a VR game. So anyway, as you can see, if I maximize these windows and click on play, there we go, I can see my hand and the project is working in virtual reality. I can also grab and release the cube. So now the next step is to turn this project and make it work with path through for mixed reality. Okay, so to create a mixed reality project with OpenXR and the Unity XR Interaction Toolkit, we need Unity above 2022.3, which is the case. As you can see, I'm using 2022.3.7 F1, but any version above this will work. Then if I go to Windows, Package Manager, then here go to In Projects. Here are all of the packages that are inside this project. And if you follow the two VR tutorials that I show you, you should have here the XR plugin management installed. Any version above this one will work. You should have the XR Interaction Toolkit installed. Any version above this one will work still. And here the Open XR plugin, which will be needed. Now to make this project work with Mixed Reality, what we need is to install two other packages. The first one is the AR Foundation. For this, we can go to Unity Registry and search for AR Foundation at the top. There you go. You should see this version, so AR Foundation 5.0.7. But unfortunately, this version is not supporting here the Mixed Reality on the MetaQuest 3. So we need a version that is actually above 5.1. Now to do so, instead of clicking here on install, we can copy here the name. So com.unity.xr.arfoundation. Click on the plus button, add package by name. And here you can just paste or write it for yourself, the name of the package. And now if you click on add, it will download a more recent version of the IR Foundation than the one that is presenting on the package manager. There you go, as you can see, it has correctly installed AR Foundation version 5.1.1, but of course, any version above this one will still work. Okay, so now we have here the AR Foundation to do some AR stuff on our packages, but we still need a bridge to go from the Meta headset to be able to talk to both the AR Foundation and OpenXR. And this bridge is called the Unity Meta OpenXR Package. 
Now you can add it here by clicking on the plus button, add package by name, and here you need to write com.unity.xr.meta-openxr. There, if we click on add, there you go, it should install you the latest version of this package. Okay, there you go, if we remove the search over there, and that we go here on the Unity Open XR Meta package, we can see that it is correctly installed and that all of the dependencies, so the OpenXR and the AR Foundation, are also installed, so now everything should work. And we are now ready to use these packages to create our mixed reality game from the Unity XR Interaction Toolkit. Now, by the way, at this point, there is already some prefab and stuff that are made by Unity to help us create a mixed reality rig. For example, if I go to the XR Interaction Toolkit, then to Samples, if you have a version of the XR Interaction Toolkit above 2.5, you should see here some starter assets for the Meta XR. Now, I'm using the version 2.4.3, which is why I'm not seeing anything there. But anyway, if you're in the same case as me, you can click on the plus button, add package by name, and add the uh, com.unity.xr.interaction.toolkit package here by the name. And this should update the XR Interaction Toolkit with the latest version, which is 2.5 in my case. But of course, any version above this one should work. There you go, you should see with this new version, as you can see here, the AR Starter Asset, which are made for mixed reality with the XR Interaction Toolkit. Now, in my case, I will simply click on Import over there, and I have some error over there on the console windows. This is because I also need to update the starter asset in my case. Okay, here you go. Now, no more error. Everything is updated to uh, the latest version. I can close these windows. And now if I go to Samples, XR Interaction Toolkit 2.5.2, we can see here the AR starter asset that we just downloaded. And there is actually an AR demo scene, which you will be able to test. Or there is also some prefab areas with AR feather plane, which will be able to display some plane detection. There is the XR origin, which works for AR. And another prefab, which I will talk about in a future episode. Now, in our case, I will not use here the XR Origin prefab. My goal here is to show really what changed between this prefab, which is configured for XR, and the one that we have right there, so the very basic one for VR game, so that you will be able to upgrade any of your VR game to make it work with Pathrough or Mixed Reality in general. Now, it is noteworthy that there is also some samples made by Unity that features Mixed Reality, for example, you have here the Mixed Reality example for Meta OpenXR Quick Start Guide. And you have also, more generally speaking, the AR Foundation samples, which contain some OpenXR scene that work with the Quest Through to display multiple features that you will be able to find, like plane detection or the spatial anchors. Now, anyway, you will be able to find them in the description below. But now that all of the packages are correctly installed and that you know more about where to find some information about Unity XR with Quest 3, let's configure our project to make it work and update here the XR origin. Now, for the project settings, now that we have the package, we need to go to Edit, Project Settings. And then if we go to XR Plugin Management, as you can see, by default, I have the Open XR set to both desktop and Android. And now because I'm using a Quest 3 and I want to see path through, I will need to enable here the MetaQuest feature group. There you go. Next, we can go to Open XR. And as you can see, all of the MetaQuest features are added. And in the interaction profile, I can see both the MetaQuest Touch Pro Controller and the Oculus Touch Controller profile. So here, make sure that you have the same setting as mine. Next, on top of the XR plugin management setting, there is some settings under player that we need to configure. So let me click over there. So the first thing we need to make sure is to set the color space from gamma to linear. There you go. Then we can disable the auto graphics API. And here, make sure that you have both Vulkan and OpenGL ES3 that are inside the graphics API. Also, make sure that Vulkan is set at first here. There you go. If we go a bit down below here, make sure that the minimum API level is set to 10 and that the target architecture is ARM64. There you go. 
Now, these are all the settings that you need to have on the players. Now, let me close these windows. And as you can see in this project, I'm personally using the universal rendering pipeline. Now, if you are using the universal rendering pipeline, there is some more settings that you need to do to make sure everything works properly. So here, if we go to edit project settings again, then to graphics, you can see here the scriptable rendering pipeline settings that is used. So if we click on it, it should highlight it in your project. And here to make a uh, mix rate work, you need to make sure here that uh, both the Terran all and the HDR are disabled. Then on the same settings, if you click here on the renderer list first element, it should highlight another settings page. And if we click on it, we also want to uh, here disable the post processing. There you go. Okay, and that's about it in terms of settings. Now with this, everything should work just fine. Now, if you have any problem with this setup, let me know in the comment section and I will try to help you. But now what's left for us to do is to set up here the XR origin. Now, the first thing we need to do is add an AR session. So we can right click, go to XR and there you should see here the AR session. Now, if you don't see it, it's just an empty game object which has two components an AR session and an AR input manager. Beautiful. Now on the XR origin XR rig, we can click on add component and add an AR plane manager. Now for the plane prefab, let's click here and search for plane. Here, select the asset and make sure that there is no hidden package by clicking here and you should see the AR feather plane. So let's select it. Now, basically, the AR plane manager will be able to display a plane on the wall and on our floor, which is something that we will use in the future part of uh, this tutorial. But anyway, now let's go to our main camera. And on the main camera, what we need to do is set the background type from Skybox to solid color. We can then change the color to black. And here, make sure that the alpha value is at zero. So basically, everything here needs to be zero, 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 and zero. Beautiful. Okay, finally, we need two components here on this camera. The first one is an AR camera manager, and the second one is the AR camera background. And there you go. With this, everything should be fine, and Mixrate should work with the packages that we installed, the setting that we've done on the project, and finally, the setup on the XR origin. Bowler scroll, we need to click on play to find out. Now, just on a side note, here, by default, if I click on play, it will not work inside the Unity editor. This is not a feature that is available right now. So to test the path through, we actually need to build. Now I'm going to go to file, build settings. Here, make sure that the Android platform has been selected and that you can see here your Oculus Quest 3 on the device. And there you go. Now let's click on build and run. Okay, and here you go, guys. As you can see, Path Through is working with the Unity XR Interaction Toolkit. So I have still here the feature from the Unity XR Toolkit. I can grab and move Scube all around, but I can see my surrounding with the Quest 3. So all of the dots are actually the material that is used on the plane that are spawned for each one of the walls around me on the floor, but also on my desk. So basically, it will read the scene model that Meta has and will spawn a plane according to the room that you have around you. Now, by the way, of course, you don't maybe want to show the planes like it's the case right now. So to just fix this right now, you can just uncheck here the AR plane manager. But the plane detection is something that I'm going to show you in the next tutorial. So make sure to leave a like and click on the subscribe button to not miss it when it will be released. As always, a big shout out to my Patreon for supporting my work. And if like them, you want to get access to the source code of this project and exclusive content like this awesome XR archery game that we made together, join us. The link is in the description below. Now, thank you for watching and I will see you very, very soon. Bye bye.